gentlemen, I'm here with another one of our 2023 Southern Lights contestants, Mr. Hunter McDaniel. Hunter, welcome, man. Hey, man. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. So this year, uh, you entered uh, the talent competition, and uh, we just want to get to know a little bit more about you. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Yes, sir. So I am Hunter McDaniel, 28 years old. I currently live in Panama City, but my area is known as the Sand Hills. Uh, I'll actually be 29. I'm turning 29 July 11th, which is the same time as the live performances. So that would be kind of a special birthday present for me if uh, if that was able to happen. Um, I am originally from Wheeler Hitch, to Florida. I went and played some college baseball up at a private school in Georgia for four years. Got to do a small little um, grad assistant deal as soon as that was over with for the fall semester. And then I moved on into the big world. Started working with this company uh, called Penske Truck Leasing. You ever heard of it, Charlie? Ever oh, seen yeah. The heard of them. I uh, started working with them at the Panama City branch. I uh, moved, got promoted, moved and lived in the big city of Montgomery, Alabama for four, almost five years. And uh, met my wife back here in Florida. We got married, lived up there in Montgomery for a few years and then uh, had the absolute miracle of our lives happen with uh, our son was born and such an amazing testimony we uh, there's a lot of people that are dealing with it now that I see but we have one of those children who were given less than a five percent chance to live uh, and no quality of life and he had brain surgery at one day old he had uh, an encephalocele had everything put put like it needed to be and he is a walking miracle and that led us back here to uh panama city where we have built a home and i now work for the united states government out on the navy base at the beach and uh i think it's time you know knocking on the door of 30 you know how tim mcgraw says your next 30 years i'm almost finished my first so i want to be able to accomplish something that's been on my heart and on my mind and that's kind of chase music see what i can do with it there you go so you you want to you want to be the next tim mcgraw then is that what you're saying no sir i want to be the first hunter mcdaniel of home <laughs> but if i if i can do anything like old tim has and just write some of the best songs you know be around just really really good writers and be around great performers to evolve me in a way that's that's what i'd like to to mimic and accomplish from somebody like tim that was a good answer. Very good answer there. So what got you started in music? Man, my mother sounds exactly like Tanya Tucker, and I'm not lying to you. If I have the ability to play a clip one day, I will. She grew up singing uh, in church and sang as I grew up, and I know that that's where I got the gift, that it was my grandparents. And when I say that, I'm talking from every single side. I am a music buff. Um I know all kinds of genres, anything that you can think of. I have been playing all kinds of games and learning and singing my whole life. And uh, I was telling my wife today, I remember going to a Disney trip at eight years old. My father giving me a, a portable CD player and he stuck in a uh, Leonard Skinner MCA records. First song on it was working for the MCA. And I can remember listening to that on repeat over and over, listening to Saturday Night Special over and over and over as a child. And uh, it just grew with me. And about the time I got 14 or 15, I just started trying to mimic everybody I could on the radio. I would sing over and over and over until I kind of found my own groove and found my own sound. And Around the age 17 or 18, I, uh, I began singing. I picked up the karaoke mics, picked up my own mics, and uh, just really found a passion with it. And that's kind of where I have led today. I've, um, introdu I was introduced to singing in church, which I have should have been a part of my whole life, man. That's something that is so special. For the past two years, I've been leading praise and worship at church, and it's really evolved me and given me an idea of what I want to do and who I want to be as an artist. But, uh, man, there's so much story, so much detail to put into that. 
Well, if people want to get more of you, of course, they can go to our website, southernlights.cc. There they can see your audition video. Um, do you have a music page or anything set up uh, already? I do not. I have a lot of Snapchat followers that get a lot of videos from me. So there's some things that uh, that I want to set up, um, see what we can do. Well, there's a lot of opportunities. In fact, you know, um, down there at the Cove, uh, you know, they've opened it up for uh, all of the artists that want to go down there and and perform leading up to the live event. You know, they've got um, they got some dates set aside. So um, you guys run up there and, and give it a shot and see how it works out, man. Well, you guys go check him out on our website, southernlights.cc, uh, also on Facebook, uh, the Southern Lights, the search for star there. You'll be able to hear, uh, see him and all the other contestants. So y'all go check it out, like all your favorites, share and, and comment. And uh, man, Hunter, I appreciate you being with us today. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you.